This over here is my maxed out M4 Max MacBook Pro, and this is the dock that I've been using from iVanky. There is one issue, there's no 10 gigabit ethernet. This guy finally here, it's supposed to fix that. So let's see if it works and how to set it up. This part of the video is brought to you by ASUS ProArt PX13, the ultimate two-in-one crater laptop with AMD Ryzen 9 AI CPU and NVIDIA RTX 4070 GPU. The PX13 is one of the most compact and powerful 13-inch laptops out there. Create smarter and faster from anywhere with AI features and military-grade toughness. Go check out our full overview in the video description below. So this is from QNAP and this is USB 4 Type-C to 10 gigabit Ethernet adapter, which should work also on Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt 5. This is Thunderbolt 4 dock though, not Thunderbolt 5, but in the back of them we've got some spare Thunderbolt ports, so we're gonna have to check this out. Now, there used to be the previous version with Thunderbolt 3, but the USB 4 now is more power efficient, which means that you don't need to have a fan and it's running a little bit less as hot, which means it'll be just a little bit better. So it's just an updated version of that. It's pretty simple. As you can see, it doesn't need any extra power cord either. On the back of it, we can see USB port. This shows linked. Then there's a heatsink underneath there that actually cools the whole bit down. And then on the other side, we've got an RJ45 connected, which is 10 gigabits in speed. There is also an optical version of this available. SBF Plus, if you're interested in that. I'm going to leave the link in the description below, by the way, if you want to check it out. And then underneath, we have a USB cable. Whoa, this is good. So this is 40 gigabits per second and 240 watts USB-C cable. That is very high quality. It's quite long as well, about one meter. So I could put it on the floor if I wanted to. So if you're looking at what am I connected right now, you can see that I'm connected to Wi-Fi and this USB 2.5 gig LAN, which is in the back of this iVanky, this little dock in here. Now then, let's see if it works. We're gonna just plug it into the back of this. And then we've got another Thunderbolt port in the front here. So let's plug it in there. Is there anything here? We've got a little blue light in the back of it, which means it's linked. Obviously nothing is in at the moment. So I'm just gonna take that cable from the back of this out. And we're just gonna plug it into here. Okay, we've got two greens. All right, Thunderbolt Ethernet slot. Now, it doesn't exactly tell us how fast this is, but we're gonna test it out. So it looks like it's literally just plug and play, but I'm gonna actually put it back for now. Okay, I've got our 2.5 gig LAN actually up there as well working. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually build a very fast enclosure. So what I have here is the U green, 40 gigabits per second, USB 4 enclosure. I'm gonna put in the Samsung 990 Pro, which is super fast SSD, 7,000 something megabytes per second, if you wanted to. You plug it in there. Okay, and then I've got a USB 4 cable here, so I'll just Plug it in. Oh, this is 10 gigabits in speed there, which means we should actually plug it into there. Okay, we're reading it now. There, This is Windows Disk Utility. So what I'm gonna do is, it's a Windows file system here. We're just gonna erase this. We're gonna make it Samsung 990 Pro. Uh, let's do 990 Pro one terabyte. Windows, no, we're gonna go APFS erase. So all of this is going to get erased now. Okay. Looks like it's completed. As you can see, we've got it showing up here on Finder. Let's take a speed test of this target drive. We're going to go to this Samsung 990 Pro. So we see how fast this is. Let's do a speed test. Ooh, looks like I might only have this connected on a 10 gigabit cable. So it can't connect it faster enough. As you can see, we're only getting 700, 800 megabytes per second. Okay, I've got one USB 4 cable here. So I'll just stop this for a second. Okay, it's showing up again. Select target drive. It's the same one and then start the test. As you can see, this cable is only 10 gigabits in 
speed. So right now we're getting 2.8 gigabytes per second read and write speeds, which is going to be insane. But well, that's what we want from this drive. As you can see, this is USB 4 now. Even though it says 40 gigabits per second, that's like a little bit of a a lie because 40 gigabits per second is the data bandwidth and that data bandwidth slots into some of this is actually data some of this is video so files video and then i think there might be even ethernet and some of the other bits and that all together is 40 gigabits per second but that doesn't mean that we're getting 40 gigabits per second actual data writing on this ssd so that's why we're roughly about 2.8 2.9 gigabytes per second now that's very good so let's test the speeds now then I've got something on the desktop that is 82.7 gigabytes per second. So if we're going to take it from desktop, I'm going to copy these to the 990 Pro. Takes less than a minute. That's insane. Wait a second. Let me just record this. So that was 28 seconds for 82.7 five gigabytes which is literally 2.95 gigabytes per second now we know that that samsung drive is super super fast what i'm going to do is connect to my nas which is also the qnap nas if you haven't seen that one yet on the review absolutely love that one so this is our editing projects in there i'm going to make a new folder test footage okay there we are let's put this on this side okay on the right this is connected now to the 2.5 gigabit ethernet it goes through that if i'm gonna transfer all of these files now from that external ssd to there as you can see we're reading the data about 250 to 200 and about 300 megabytes per second which is roughly around the 2.5 gigabit ethernet limit. Okay, roughly around four minutes, 40, four minutes, 45, something like that. Let's swap this round that I'll take my ethernet from the back there and then I'll connect it to this 10 gigabit adapter now here. As you can see, we've got green lights on. Let's try this again. As you can see, exactly the same files there. I'm just gonna rename them. Three, two, one, and go. Interesting, something is not properly working right now. As you can see, we're only writing about 160 megabytes per second. That is not right. Thunderbolt Ethernet slot speed should be 10 GB base. Okay, so we'll leave it at manual now. Manually configuring that this is the speed, not connected. Oh, now it is. Okay, so we forced it to be 10 gigabit option now. Let's do this again. Test files too. For some reason, it is still linking to only that speed for now. Look at that. That is very, very slow. Now, I'm wondering if there is a wrong port here. We'll try this back port here. Okay, Thunderbolt Ethernet slots. As you can see, it's connected now again. I've left it on hardware as automatically. It should be configured. Now let's try the secondary port in the back there. What we're doing, still only 140, something like that megabytes per second. That's very odd. Okay, one more option is that we'll plug it in directly onto our MacBook. See if there is any like fails just because the dock is in between. Let's say if it goes to our Mac, we're gonna allow to connect. Let's go settings here, okay. We're connected. I'm just gonna turn the Wi-Fi off just in case some data might go somewhere else. Let's try the same thing. So this is our NAS there. We're gonna drag these over. There we go. Look at that. Now we're copying 1.13 gigabytes per second. Why can't I see the file copying? Now I wanna know how much faster it will be. So I'm just gonna drag them over. It's like 1.2. 1.1 to 1.2 gigabytes per second. That was one minute and 12, which is more than four times faster. That is impressive. My still issue is I would love this to be connected to the dock so I wouldn't have to separately connect it to my MacBook. So I'm gonna try different parts and see if something's happening here. Okay, very interesting. Now look at what's happening. Right now, now we're 
transferring roughly around 700 800 megabytes per second i think i'm running out of usb controllers on the actual dock because right now as you can see it is it is a lot faster and we're doing it the same way all i did was i plugged in the drive that we're actually transferring from the u green one into a 10 gigabit port in the front rather than the 6k port which is interesting i'm going to pause stopping the footage i'm going to pull this drive completely out now and i'll take the desktop files now so from the desktop it goes to the dock so it's not external hard drive that we're connecting anymore let's see what we're getting now 1.19 gigabytes per second which is fascinating while it's transferring let me just connect this to the front uh, thunderbolt port there look at that instantly just went down to very very low speeds if not it is just because the thunderbolt controllers on this dock can't handle it which means that i have to use the if i unplug this again now look what happens see even it disconnected from the nas when plugging it in there because it couldn't understand what was going on in there that's very interesting so if you want the fastest speeds you want to make sure that you're either connected directly to your macbook which has the thunderbolt controllers on there and you don't have any issues in there or you're gonna have to do some reconfiguring because right now this seems fine let's say now i want to test us transferring some files so as you can see i've got one over here external ssd enclosure i'm going to plug it into this 10 gigabit port in the front there as you can see the thunderbolt ethernet slot is happening i've got some footage in there i'm just going to connect to our nas again let's see test footage in there so i've got that now transferring some b raw let's take another 100 gigabytes or something like that starting transferring over and we're transferring roughly around 700 800 megabytes per second i've got this other kingston v60 card so this can read up to 280 gigabytes per second so i'm going to plug that one in as well let's keep this open in there so you can see what we're transferring there i'm just going to take something from here let's say this 30 gigabytes files i'm going to transfer these across as well look at that 900 megabytes per second so it goes back to around 800 megabytes per second so it looks like we're capping a little bit i've got a usb type a to type c adapter here i'm going to plug it into another 10 gigabit usb type a port there let's see if that turns up okay i think we are here did we drop no 900 megabytes per second and then we use that there as well let's see what happens now 950 roughly around there not quite as fast as getting it from the desktop onto there but still 950 something like that megabytes per second which is still super super fast three times faster and if i do directly from the macbook pro then about four times faster over four times faster than what we previously had as you can see this is working pretty well now we're reading from our card roughly around 300 megabytes per second that's completed well actually not exactly because we're still reading from that as well i'm gonna pause that so yeah we're reading from that sd card roughly around 265 megabytes per second directly to the nas and bear in mind previously that was roughly around the speed i was getting the whole bandwidth of it now i can have anything else like the m.2 ssds something else plugged in there and i'm still gonna not gonna be capping this speed which is fascinating i'm super happy about it now i'm glad we did the actual speed test with this because as you can see it can be a little bit tricky especially if you're running a dock setup so if you're getting this do similar tests and bear in mind if you connect it directly to your macbook pro macbook air you're going to be getting 10 gigabits per second no problem if you're running a dock make sure that you're using the right ports or you the right hardware because you might run out of thunderbolt controllers and then the speed's going to be actually lower as you can see over here this is going to be part of my main setup because that's going to make my workflow many times faster if you want to check it out the links for these are in the description below i'm going to leave everything that i tested and used here in the description below if you want to see the ivanki dock setup or my macbook reviews highly recommend checking them out absolutely amazing one of the best thunderbolt 4 docks that you can get right now if we can get a thunderbolt 5 dock ooh, then it gets even more interesting thanks guys for watching i'll see you soon bye bye